This wonderful race about to get underway, the 25th, 24 hours of Nürburgring, 133 cars from 18 countries on the grid, 13 classes with four classification groups, and they start in three groups, 60 cars at a time, in order to avoid first or second or even third lap accidents. So three pace cars, three groups going around this fabulous circuit here in the Eiffel Mountains of Germany, where incidentally the FIA GT Championship will be racing this coming weekend. So Group 1 gets underway, including those pole men, Mark Dewey and Co, and Harold Gross in the other car alongside them. Followed a minute later by the Group 2 cars. Second third of the 133 car grid. And behind them, Group 3. The slower cars, including those wonderful minis. It's not BMW and it's not a diesel car in the lead. It's the Audi S2 Quattro of Reinhold Molig that takes the lead. Because pole man Mark Douay in the BMW has got problems with a fuel pump, a lack of diesel pressure going through the carousel. So all that advantage goes to nothing. Diesel car in problem. That's not the end of the bad luck for the front runners. The number 23 BMW also loses the lead. That's the Audi Rava, loses the lead through pit stop problems. They've got fuel pressure problems, and because of the heat here, they have a fuel vapor lock. So Reinhold Molig sitting out as the seconds tick by. 23 hours to go, and 23 gets back into the race. Franz Rudolf Wilber driving. So they have lost something like 25 minutes. No chance of winning now, or is there? The Volvo, already with... Uh, problems in qualifying, heading for the pits with severe tyre problems. At that moment, they were ninth overall. Wolfgang Kaufmann. Well, Wolfgang, a uh, Porsche racer in the GT series from the beginning, said we had problems, tyre problems because of uh, understeer and really knocked the tyres out. But one and a half hours into the lead, number one loses the lead. Bad luck for Harold Gross. He suddenly slows and the engine sounds rough and you can see it for yourself. Through the carousel. Still a long way to go on that lap. Well, we've had some engine problems, says Harold. Suddenly there was smoke inside the car as well as outside. I could see it in the mirrors. I have to say, it doesn't look good. And he was right. Smoke was coming from the engine and the whole engine has to be replaced. Something you can do in this race, but of course their chances of winning have gone. So two of the favourites, three in fact, all knocked out at the moment out of the chances of winning as we look at the new leader, the number five kit car Golf GTI with Edgar Doran aboard. Edgar, one of the top club racers in Germany for many, many years, also a great international racer from Group C days, and Edgar Doran leading the race. And the pit crew waiting for that number five Golf. But there's a jinx this year on leading the Nürburgring 24 hours because the car has ignition failure. And Chris Nissen is the man who is waiting to take the lead in his Golf TDI. Here he is. Of course, with less refueling stops every four hours, the big question is, will the tyres last? And perhaps more importantly, as Chris told us, before the start, will the drivers last? Well, Chris radios in, and indeed, after three hours, he's had enough. In he comes, and they will change. Christian Abd will take over from Chris Nissen. All this under the watchful eyes of VW Motorsport director Andre van der Vogt. Well, massive crowd here, 100,000 spectators camping all around the Nordschleife. And amongst the antics they enjoy, those are the back markers. Fiat with three Cinquecentos on the grid. Being challenged by Mini with three. They've got 120 horsepower in these cars.
So no problems for the Mini Coopers. Up they go again. Last year's winners, Johan Scheid, Sabine Reck, Peter Zakowski from Zach Speed and Hans-Jürgen Thiemann in their BMW M3. Well up the order now. The car that won last year, but the car, as you heard, Sabine Reck almost wrecked in qualifying this year. Pit stop. Out gets Sabine. And in gets Thiemann. So still leading the number four Golf GTI. There it is. Christian Abt on board at the moment. After four hours, there's the standings. So Edgar Doran leading. We'll be back after a short break to see how it goes for the rest of the Nürburgring 24 hours. <laughs> 